Hey guys, Chris Carlin from Android Authority. I'm here to show you really quickly what the Google Pixel 2 launcher looks like on the Galaxy Note 8. It'll actually work on any phone running Android Lollipop and above, so we'll show you how to do that in just a little bit, but let's take a look first. Like the new Pixel 2 phones, you'll see that the Google search bar appears on the bottom of the home screen just above the navigation buttons, but the familiar swipe up app drawer is still in place. Up the top of the screen we've got the new at a glance widget which shows the date and the current weather conditions but it'll also alert you to upcoming calendar events about half an hour before they occur and current traffic conditions. Both of these can be disabled from the home screen settings if you only want the date and weather displayed though. Hopefully some more options will arrive in an update in the near future like upcoming reminders, maybe flight information or even parcels that are about to arrive. If you tap the date it'll open up the calendar for more information and tapping the forecast opens more detailed weather info. The Google search bar of course works the same but it'll actually open the search bar at the top of the screen while your keyboard pops up at the bottom. If you want the Google app to live on the leftmost home screen then you'll actually need to install the APK as a system app. If you just install the APK as you normally would then you won't have this functionality. To install the launcher as a system app you'll need root access of course so just download the app and then move to system slash app. Once it's there just change a couple read write permissions and reboot your phone. One other thing that's worth mentioning is that a couple of features are not going to be available if your device isn't running Android Oreo. Like on the Galaxy Note here, you'll see that I'm missing a few options that are present on the Pixel running Oreo, including the toggle for notification dots, the ability to change the app icon shape, and whether or not you want to add new apps to your home screen. Of course, because the Pixel 2 launcher is just a launcher, it's not going to affect any other additional functionality. Other features like the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 8 will still work fine, so pop the pen out and you can use all those features as you normally can. There's a couple of other Google Pixel 2 APKs floating around right now, including the new Google Camera, so be sure to hit the video description below for some links to Android Authority where we will take you through everything that's new. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to let us know if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, track us down on social, and stay tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android.